so this is the next question uh, somehow similar to the first type one but the in this case the load is at somewhere between of the free end so it is a little bit uh, different and theta b and theta uh, delta a is to be determined that is slope at b and deflection at point a that is a free end so the equation is somehow like this uh, a 3 meter free end and 8 meter simply supported beam is provided a uniformly distributed load of 4 kilo newton meter is provided with a point load of 12 kilo newton at the free end portion so to solve this the very first step is to split it into two parts so it will be easier to draw the m by a diagram so taking into account of this at first a uh, b and c again b c with uniform loading in this portion this is 12 and this is 4 so to calculate b uh, reaction at b and reaction at c with 12 kN uh, 12 1.5 and this 8 so 12 into 8 plus that is 9.5 divided by 8 this gives me 14.25 okay 14.25 positive in this direction and to balance this out to 14.25 2.5 so vertically downward this will be 2.25 and this is the uniformly distributed load and the first simply supported beam 4 into 8 32 this will be 16 and 16 so this is the given reaction support support reaction so now to draw the m by ei diagram considering both so taking account of this at first with a b c uh, if we see at point up to point b 12 into 1.5 that is 18 so up to point a there is no load we are not con because there is no support so it will be zero at free end and taking into account of the right portion 12 into up to point b 1.5 so 12 into 1.5 is equal to 18 so and the flexural rigidity is 1 so it will be 18 by ei okay 18 by ei and for the other portion let me consider from the point c so 2.25 into 8 2.25 into 8 which is equal to uh, 2.25 into 8 which is equal to 18 is 18 where the flexural rigidity is 2 so it will be 9 okay so it will be 9 9 by EI the moment is anti-clockwise so it will be negative so the force will be or the loading is vertically upward and in this case from right side it is clockwise so it will be negative and again for acting vertically upward now considering the UDL of parabolic curve will be obtained and the maximum bending moment is a WL square by 8 so 4 into L that is 8 square divided by 8 32 the flexural rigidity is 2 so 32 divided by 2 EI that will be 16 so 16 by EI a positive moment so it will be acting vertically downward so this is the M by EI diagram M by EI diagram so now the next step is to plot the deflected shape so for which I have already illustrated how we can determine it so considering the uniformly distributed part the deflection will be in this shape and this being a free end will be 
somehow like this okay so this is point a not considering this point okay a now taking into account of this point 12 it will push it downward so a reaches to a dash dash and again passes being a tangent to this point b c and plotting a tangent from this part and again now just plot the tangent from respective support then we get b dash c dash so again it is same to that theta b theta c this will be equal to theta b and make sure the direction that is clockwise and anti-clockwise so in this question we have to find theta b and i have already discussed how to find the slope uh, to find theta b you have to consider the another side that is c c dash by the span that is b c and for magnitude of c c dash you have to use the m by e i diagram from point b to c about c so about c we have to find the moment from b to c we will not consider the remaining part so from b to c this is 16 by e i uh, parabolic portion anti-clockwise towards c so it will be positive when it goes to the right hand side so 2 by third the area of the parabolic uh, shape is 2 by 3 multiply by height that is 16 by e i multiply by the span that is 8 meter minus the triangular loading a minus 1 by 2 into uh, 9 by e i okay 9 by e i multiply by span length that is 8 acting towards the apex so 2 by third into 8 divided by bc this is 8 meter okay 8 meter so we can calculate the value 2 by third 16 multiplied by 8 uh, one thing is missing here uh, the effective distance okay the point of uh, the distance uh, at which the point of action is uh, located that is for a parabolic portion it will be at the mid span that is 4 so multiply by 4 minus uh, 1 that is 1 by 2 multiply by 9 into 8 into 2 by third into 8 divided by 8 so you get 18.667 okay so 18.667 by ei which is a positive value that suggests it is a clockwise which is true so theta b is equal to 18.667 by ei the other thing we have to find is deflection at point a and with value this we can calculate a dash a so theta b is equal to a dash a by the span that is a b so a dash a is equal to theta b 18.667 multiply by the distance a b 3 meter so 18.667 by e i multiply by 3 this gives me 56 by e i okay 56 by e i a dash a to find a dash a dash dash we have it a uh, moment about moment about a in m by e i diagram between a and b okay a and b so we don't consider here the span because we are talking about the 
deflection not about the rotation so moment about a in m by ei diagram which is equal to so you have to be little bit conscious about here okay so this is giving a anti-clockwise moment so it will be positive taken into right hand side so 1 by 2 multiply by the magnitude that is 18 by ei multiply by the distance that is 1.5 so don't write 3 meter okay 1.5 multiply by towards the apex so 2 by third of 2 by third of 1.5 meter plus remaining distance that is 1.5 meter okay so this is the simple thing you have to understand here 1 by 2 18 in, by ea into 1.5 this is the magnitude of loading and that will act at the 2 by third of the 1.5 plus 1.5 that is the remaining distance so this will be the required answer here so the value is 33.75 by ei this is the value for a dash a dash dash now for actual deflection as we have already discussed actual deflection is equal to a dash a dash dash minus a dash a here 33.75 minus 56 okay minus 56 so we get 22.25 by ei